Hello everyone, I'm about here for another video review. This time we have Mr. Kipling's, it's in the good cakes, <laughs> Form 86 Vanilla Fancies. Um, so there we go, so it's based on the uh, Road Dahl's Witches novel. Um done another one, I just did another review of uh, a sort of vanilla slice uh, one as well. So this one, yeah, it's a bit of a funny one because they've, they've kind of, I don't know, I feel like they should have done perhaps another of Road Dahl's books or another bit of artwork or something, but, um, but they're very similar, you know, they're very similar in colours, things like this, so it's a bit, you know, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. But they're all very nice, I mean, look at that. Yeah, definitely different. I mean, basically, for those you don't know, uh, normally these are called French fancies, and it's a sort of Mr. Kipling staple cake set. <laughs> and they come in there, uh, usually they come in three different sort of, sort of I want to say flavours, but, well, yeah, flavours, they are different. Um, there's like a sort of chocolate one, a yellow one, and a pink one. Um, you know, bizarrely, the chocolate ones are the least, are the least well, the, uh, the worst in them, actually. Um, yeah, I think the pink ones are the... So the pink ones or the yellow ones are the nicest, yeah, so one of those two. Um, and typically, for some reason, even though, you know, six does divide into three quite well, um, sometimes you get more of one and more of some than others, so it's a bit bizarre, really, um, rather than two of each, yeah. Is that true? Hmm. I feel like you do anyway, I'm sure you do, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, don't know. <laughs> Unless you don't get it. Well, maybe I was going to say you maybe don't get eight, maybe you get eight in them rather than six, so. Does it say how many? Uh, yeah, eight. Yeah, eight four eight six four five. Yeah, so that's that's why. Yeah, it does work out. So you get three of some, and yeah, I don't know. It's a bit weird, really. Yeah, or four of some, and I don't know, two of the other two, or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, for some reason, yeah, it says it has eight on there. Um, it says eight four eight six eight six fancies, but no fancies, but doesn't on here. So I don't know why, but there you go. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I'm not. I, I mean, I think I had read the witches and read to me when I was a lot younger. Um, so I'm getting by. I can't remember it now. You know, I was at school. Yeah, it's a quite nice, uh, so the witch there doesn't look very evil, um, but the uh, new one looks a bit more manic. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, so it's quite nice. And there you go, there again, another bit of artwork there. It's a rat, yeah, it's a rat with a tail, running off with uh, Form 86 again, I guess. Or something, at least. Yeah, so there we are. So, um, yeah, interesting. Looks nice, what does it say? Golden sponge cakes with vanilla flavoured green topping. 11% covered with black fondant icing, 49%. So there we go, it says it's the little things that mean the most, like an exceedingly good cake from Mr. Kipling. Mr. Kipling quality guarantee. We want you to enjoy these Form 86 fancies um, at their very best. If you're not completely satisfied or if you have any questions or comments, please retain the packaging and contact our customer care team, or consumer care team. MrKipling.co.uk, exceedingly good. Hashtag. <laughs> okay, 100% artificial flavours, natural flavours. 100% natural flavours and no artificial colours. <laughs> um, no hydrogenated fats, suitable vegetarians. There you go. So it says dainty sponge fancies with a delicious vanilla flavour, green topping, a delicious vanilla flavour green topping, drenched in a black fondant icing. So there we go. So quite a good description there. Um, yeah, mm. that's quite nice. So per cake, 27 grams, 106 calories, 2.7 grams of fats, 1.2 of which are saturates. I suppose to the quite yeah quite quite similar. The the vanilla slices had 109 calories, 4.9 grams of fat, 1.9 which is saturated. So these ones, I would say these look a bit more satisfying than these ones. These are quite small, not big things. These you know, uh, yeah, you know. So hmm, I think I'd rather have one of these fancies. So yeah, the packaging looks really good. I think they look really nice. I mean, it, I don't think they're. I mean, I've only just seen them now, and so it's nearly Halloween when I'm recording this. Um, so I guess they're probably for Halloween. But I mean, there's nothing. You know, I don't know, nothing specific about it. I've seen Mr. Kipling branded stuff before. Uh, sorry, not Mr. Kipling. Um, Rodale branded Mr. Kipling stuff before. Um, what, James and Giant Peach, I think it was, and some other things. Um, hmm. Yeah, interesting, anyway. But yeah, so clearly a good present, for, a good gift for kids. Uh, you know, tr a treat for kids on Halloween. Yes, there we go. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay, well, I think it looks good. I think we should uh, give them a taste. I guess the only problem with this is, the regular, as I say, the regular French fancies. Well, fondant fancies, as I think the knockoffs are called, <laughs> the copies <laughs> from uh, their supermarket owned brands. Um, I have three different flavours, but these limited edition ones, they always are just one. I guess I can understand why, but I guess it'd just be nice to have a bit more variety, wouldn't it? But hmm. but maybe they, they, they just produce three different ones rather than uh, three different sets, rather than just one in that case. So, yeah. Okay, let's give it an open. Right, so it's just a general uh, box, <laughs> nothing special about it, so I'll just open it at the side. Um, there we go, so, right, well, yeah, it doesn't look too appealing there, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look too, uh, yeah, too overly great, does it, but there we go, some of them, 
Yeah, one of them is lopsided slightly, but yeah. Okay. Hmm. Right, so those look a bit faded black. These ones are, well, because yeah. they are slightly uh, off black, aren't they? You know, they're not quite black black, are they? So, yeah, okay. We'll give them that. Let's give them an open. Right, so there's quite well packed here. So you can see there's no, hmm, smell but like just normal this, um, French fancies really. Don't smell any different. But you can see they're well packed here. There's no space for the extra stuff here. So unlike a lot of other things, like these for instance, you know, all this wasted space. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know, these are quite well packed. So they can do it. You know, there's, there's, these are literal proof that there's no reason for them to need to space them out. Um, so there we go. Right, so let's take the lopsided one, so it's, uh, it's kind of stuck in the case like that, but we'll take that, we'll use that one. Uh, okay, well, there we are. <laughs> there we go. So it comes in this little paper case. Uh, let's take it out. So you can see the... I uh, did make these on the Great British Bake Off one, one time, I had to make these fondant fancies. So here the bottom, it doesn't extend, the icing doesn't extend to the bottom, the fondant. So what does it say? What have we got? A yeah, golden sponge cakes with vanilla flavoured green topping, 10%, with black fondant. So yeah, so basically you've got these little domes and this cream in this top of the dome. You kind of saw on the front there, so yeah. So let's give it a quick measure. So they are, they do look to be the standard French fancy size, so about three and a half centimetres wide. Yeah, it's a cube, so it's the same, but with a knobble on top. It's four centimetres, so it's about half a centimetre. Yep, so there we go. <laughs> Yeah, so you can see there the drizzle actually uh, seems to continue on to the bottom in one bit, so I don't know how that's happened, but yeah. Hmm. Right, let's give it a cut in half. I think the top, I think the knobble on the top actually looks very, uh, there's quite a lot there, so that's good. But you can see where the cake, where the uh, case in this case, the paper case is imprinted onto it, so that's probably just because of the, this one's a bit messed up. Oh, look at that, well, that's, that's pretty impressive actually, look at that, it's full of green stuff there. I mean, it's not, I mean, I've kind of, well, in fact, not quite as, uh, let's see if I can see. Do them side by side, can I? I don't know. Let's <laughs> try, it's hard. It's hard when I'm juggling these. Uh... Yeah, okay, maybe you can see that there. So you can see, uh, it's not quite the same, but I would say the, the real one, actually, even though it's not as quite as picturesque as the one on the box, I think you would definitely say it's got more in it. So yeah, I'm impressed with that. I think that's not bad. Can't complain of that, really. Lots of green filling there, more than you would uh, expect. Hmm. <clears throat> No, I'm impressed. It's uh, full of this. I say not as much fondant as on the the, the graphic art on the front, but uh, hmm. Well, obviously it's not cut quite down the middle either. There, so maybe that's why. So yeah, I think it's pretty accurate actually. I've cut it right down the middle, so hmm. Because this one you can see it's not quite down the middle. So yeah, I think it probably works out. We have an air pocket there, but we can let them off that. <laughs> the other side doesn't have that. Yeah, I think that looks good. I mean, a good treat for Halloween for kids as well if they come round, so I think, uh, yeah, hmm. Well, the proof's in the pudding, literally in this case. <laughs> so let's uh, give them a taste. Right, okay, that's, uh, yep, there we go. Let's just eat one half, let's give it a go. Hmm. Yeah, wow. Hmm. Hmm, not bad, really. Taste. I would say um, the regular Mr. Kipling um, French fancies. You know the good flavors, the yellow and orange, the yellow and pink one. I think it's nice in this one. It doesn't really have much flavor in the in the fondant itself. Um, yeah, black fondant icing. Yeah, there's not really any flavor in that that I can tell really. So yeah, a bit disappointed. But the it's quite nice and refreshing. Uh, the green cream center, whatever you call it. Um, vanilla flavor green topping. <laughs> that's what it says. But I think it's um, yeah cream. Um, that does taste quite nice actually. Yeah, but there's no real flavor to it. But it tastes nice. I mean, it's just the fact that there's no flavour to the fondant that's a bit of a problem. You know, there are flavours to that in the other, in the regular ones, and it just doesn't seem to be a flavour to it in this one. Maybe because it's vanilla or something, but it just says black fondant icing. And the black is kind of off black, as I say. I did, you know, I think I did mention to you, it's not quite black. But then it isn't quite black on the front either, so we can let it off. Yeah. They all look great, I think, in the box, you know. <laughs> um, I think, as I say, they look a bit, I don't know, yeah. A few box of charcoal or something, but I think, uh, <coughs> yeah, hmm. I think they're quite good. As I said, they go quite well with these a bit, you know. Yeah, I think they're quite good for Halloween and stuff like that. I think as actual taste goes, they're quite average. It's all about this cream at the top, really. I think the sponge itself is a bit dry. Hmm. 
Mm. Cream's nice, but again, it doesn't have a real flavour. It says it's vanilla, vanilla flavour green icing, so, or green topping. Um, so there's not real flavour there, it's, you know, vanilla is quite vanilla, as you can say, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, and there, uh, hmm. Which is okay, it's not too dry or anything, but mm, it's just okay. There's no real flavours here. It's really just about the appearance, you know, it's all, you know, yeah, it's all style of a substance really, I guess, you know. <laughs> it's a fur coat and no knickers, that's what we used to say. So yeah, it's a bit, um, yeah, so it's a bit like, it's a bit like that really. So they just look good, they're just obviously a limited edition, you know. Can we say the witches have their sort of special colour scheme? You know, presumably it's something something similar to Formula 86, whatever that is, you know. <laughs> I've probably done some kind of caption of that. Um, yeah, so, okay, yeah. I think I think, be I think regular French fancies are better than these. Um, it always seems to be the case of these limited edition French fancies. They're never quite... Well, they lack the variety to start with. So the original, as I say, the proper French fancies come in three different types. You get a bit of variety there. They look more colourful. And they just have a flavour to them as well. These ones... Sometimes don't have a you know a flavour to the ones I've reviewed in the past. Or if they do, it's a bit you know. Mm. I say there's only one of them in the pack, so but they're not bad. I think they look good. I think they'll be good for Halloween. It's a nice limited edition. It's something a bit different. You know, it's not overly. You know, they've done a, made a bit of effort for it. Yeah, so mm. I think I'll probably say three and a half out of five. I think it's uh, just above average, really. But you know, nice for a bit of a difference. But you probably just prefer to have the uh, regular Mr Kipling French fancies, really. So. There we go. <laughs> Three and a half out of five. Okay, guys, so let me know what you think. If you like these, uh, what you think about it. And let me know if you've re read The Witches as well. Uh, maybe I should read it again. I don't know. But I think it's a kid's book, really. But, you know, it might be interesting to read. I don't know. Maybe it's a bit like uh, you know, Charlie and Chocolate Factory. It's got something for adults as well. I'm not sure. But there we go. We'll see. But, yeah, let me know what you think about these. And uh, yeah, leave a comment or three as well. Uh, subscribe to my videos. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you next time. See you later. Everyone take care. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye.